What is up guys, Pie Muffin here, and we are back with our Tales related video. Uh, not something I expected to be making a video on today, but uh, here we are. So, uh, kind of funny that, um, you know, the Game Awards happened today, a lot of people were like, oh, I hope we see Tales of Arise, you know, at the Game Awards, which I personally knew we wouldn't, just because why... Sure, I guess you could show the same trailer at both things, but I feel like that would kind of defeat the purpose of the hype for the 25th anniversary live stream if they just showed a Tales of Arise trailer at the Game Awards. But, um, so I went out at the end of the Game Awards, I was like, whatever, nothing really big happened today besides Sephiroth. Um, so, so I went out and then I came home and I see people talking about this Tales YouTube channel, and I'm like, Tales YouTube channel? I know, you know... All the people who are supposed to uh, notify me when news like this comes out uh, didn't, so shame on all of you. <laughs> um, but yeah, there is an official YouTube channel for the Tales series now, it, and it's not just a Japanese channel. As you can see, there's Japanese and English stuff here. So we've got like, this is the live stream that's going to be happening on the 15th at 6 a.m. So uh, the, obviously it's not going to be in English um presumably of course because otherwise it would they would have something written in english here so it's most likely just gonna be in japanese it's a live stream so you can't live tra translate you know that kind of stuff but it is cool that it is also in so they have all the playlists for everything here so if you do dabble in all the different types of content you know whether it's english or japanese only so like down here you've got all the tales of the ray stuff uh, all the PVs and stuff like that for Tales of the Rays. Um, you've got all the Tales of Asteria stuff right here. You've got all the Tales of Puppets, which I really, really hope that they um, translate all of these. I hope that, you know, over time, they re-upload these and just put subtitles on them. Because the Tales of Puppets are really funny. Um, so I think it'd be really cool. It's kind of funny that their featured channels are SAO, uh, Idolmaster... And then just the official Bandai channel. These two are the funniest to me. But I guess if you look at the Tales mobile games, the most collabs we get are for Idolmaster and SAO. Uh, just in general. Um, so that's pretty cool there. And then they also have the animations, which you, you can you can click on closed captioning for uh, the subtitles for that. They've only uploaded the first episode. So presumably, so the second episode of Zestiria the X is being uploaded on the 18th. So that's like a week from now. So I'm guessing every week they're probably going to upload uh, a new episode for people to watch, which is really nice because previously Zestiria the X is only watchable right now, currently in the West, on Funimation. So if you're someone like me who only like ha basically has Crunchyroll, I can't watch Zestiria uh, the X unless I buy the Blu-ray. And then Tales of the Abyss is also uh, produced in the West by Funimation, so you would need to buy the Blu-ray from them, but, the, you know, they have Tales of Eternia here, um, so that'd be kind of fun. I've actually never watched the Tales of Eternia animation, so I would definitely be down to watch that, and I'm really, really hoping at some point that they get the licensing over here to, obviously, it would be great if they could dub it, but even if they can't dub it, I would still love a subtitle, a legally you know, obtainable, subtitled version of the Symphonia OVA. Um, it would obviously be very hard to kind of dub it today, despite the fact that it's only 11 episodes, but I still think it would be hard because I th I don't know how many of the voice actors are still voice acting. Um, and then obviously Lloyd's voice actor changed from the first Symphonia to Dawn of the New World, so we don't even know which Lloyd we would even get. But even if it was just subtitled, I'd be totally fine with that. But yeah, I think it's, and this is a good sign for the future of Tales, especially in the West, because it does show that they're putting an effort to make sure that people in the West, you know, like you and me, have a way to kind of access some of this stuff. So they've got the full, I also didn't mention, they have the full Tales of Crestoria playlist of videos here. So I think moving forward, I think they will still upload, you know, PVs and stuff like that to the official Bandai channel, but they will also get uploaded here, is my guess. And, you know... This channel has only been up for, you know, a little bit, a little over an hour, because this is the these are the only three videos that they have up right now. So uh, that definitely does show me that, um, you know, almost a thousand subscribers in less than an hour. So that's pretty good. But of course, you're going to see most of the fan base 
is going to be from Japan because it's obviously more popular over there. But um, I think it'd be kind of cool. So like for this live stream, for example, it starts in four days. So it starts on the 15th, which is Tuesday morning. Um, it'd be cool if like maybe like within a week after the stream, if they re-upload the stream, but like with subtitles. Now, obviously not everything in this stream is going to be important to your Western fan because obviously Rays and Asteria do not have English versions. So those that part of the content doesn't really matter to your normal English viewer. But this is still just such a cool thing to do right before the anniversary, you know. And, and I will leave a link to the YouTube channel as well as the upcoming live stream in the description below so you know where to go. And then I think over here they have a link to uh, the uh, Tales Channel Plus. I think it's just the Japanese one, though. Yeah, this is just a link to the Japanese one. If you want to go to the English Tales Channel Plus, um, I think uh, you have to... I think you have to go to the actual uh, Twitter for it. Um, but, I mean, this is this is all really cool. So, obviously, we have the live stream here in a few days. So, hopefully, you know, with Tales of Arise, I really don't know what to say at this point. I don't know, you know, how things have gone because the last bit of information we got was literally a trailer at TGS in 2019. So it's been over a year since we've gotten any sort of screenshots or trailer or anything. So ideally, this would be the smartest place to reveal it would be on this live stream if they have anything to kind of reveal here. But I, I don't want to get my hopes up because... This is obviously a game they're working very, very hard on. You know, we haven't had a new Tales game, a new mainline console game since 2016. I, I guess 2017, technically, because uh, we didn't get Berseria over here till 2017, like very early in the year. But it officially released in Japan in 2016. Um, I think it was August of 2016, something like that. Um... So it has, it's going to be close to five years, which is the longest stretch between Tales games that there's ever been since Tales of Fantasia. You know, ever since Tales of Fantasia first came out, there's never been more than like maybe two or three years between games. And sometimes there's only been like a year between games. So this definitely is the longest period. And I hope that means that they're really putting a lot of love and care into this game and that it's going to be a very, very good game with a lot of stuff to do. Uh, a solid combat system. Um, <laughs> I really didn't like Berseria's break gauge system. Definitely my least favorite thing about the game. Um, but yeah, I guess we're just going to have to wait for the live stream to see. So let me know what you guys think down below. Let me know if you're excited that there is a Tales YouTube channel. Um, like I said, this is a good sign that they plan to kind of keep English and Japanese fans in the loop together. Um... So I think anything that gets up... Also, it'd be nice if they officially, you know, translate... There is a translation that Abyssal Chronicles did of the Tales uh, Gekijo or Tales Theater uh, for Tales of the Rays. But um, it would just be nice if, like, all this stuff, you know, they, they do realize that the fans over here in the West do want this kind of stuff. I wouldn't, you know, I see saw some people are like, oh, maybe we can get Ray's back, or maybe Asteria can get an English version. Asteria is probably on his last legs. I think this will be the final arc, um, you know, with what we're getting. And then I think Ray's, I mean, Ray's already shut down. Gotcha games don't re-go up after they shut down. The only thing that they could possibly maybe do is maybe they would add, like, an English voice option. Or not voice, uh, English text option to the current Tales of the Rays, but even then, you know, people who played on the English server who would start up now would have nothing. So I don't know if they would uh, even consider that, despite the fact that it has been made uh, very apparent to them that a lot of English fans do still play Rays, despite there not being an English version. But I just don't see them doing anything about that. But that's pretty much it, guys. Like I said, let me know what you guys think down below. Let me know if you're excited for the live stream. What are you hoping to see on the live stream? You know, it is the 25-year anniversary of Fantasia, so, you know, a Fantasia remake isn't totally out of the question. I think that'd be pretty cool as well. Um, so, Fantasia remake is what I've seen a lot of people say. Um, obviously, Tales of Arise info. Whatever this Tales of Luminaria is, maybe they'll, you know, give us some insight on that, whether it's a brand new 
uh, game with the Kanonos, or whether it's a um, it's just a different game altogether. It's definitely not a gotcha game. I'll, I'll tell you that much. It's definitely not going to be a gotcha game. Uh, they already have three ongoing gotcha games. I don't see them starting up a fourth while Asteria is still alive. Um, and then, yeah, we'll obviously get uh, the rest of the news for Rays. So uh, we'll, we'll get whoever's going to be in the story chapter and I guess the final event for the month. Because I presume the current event we have for Rays now goes until the 19th. And then I assume from the 19th to the 31st will be uh, the Zillia event. And then on the 31st, we'll probably start a New Year event with something they reveal uh, here on stream. Uh, they may even talk about the anniversary since we are just about two months away from the anniversary. Um, Crestoria, they'll probably, we're probably going to get news on the next Crestoria banner before the live stream because, um, the new Crestoria banner should drop on the 16th, which is only a day after. So I feel like either tonight at some point or maybe, you know, Sunday night, Monday morning, they might reveal what we're actually getting. And then obviously that stuff would drop on uh, Wednesday or Thursday. Um, and then Asteria, of course, I assume they're probably going to announce the rest of the protagonists for the new arc. We already know Ludger is one of the main protagonists, so we got to find out who the other four or five are going to be. But uh, And then, yeah, of course, Tales of Arise. Hopefully they have a new trailer for us and hopefully a release date because it was originally supposed to come out in 2020. So if it is coming out in 2021, hopefully they have an idea of when they want to release it. As well as seeing some of the other party members. We only know about two party members and possibly a third one. Because we saw that little child uh, in the last trailer over a year ago. But we really only know about Alfin and uh, Gion. So hopefully we get more on that. But I think I've rambled on long enough. That's pretty much it guys. Uh, once again, let me know what you guys think down below. Don't forget to subscribe for if you're new to the channel. And don't forget to subscribe to the official Tales YouTube channel. To stay up to date with anything they post. I will uh, see you guys all next time, and I hope you all have a wonderful night. See you all next time, everyone.